Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an end of summer haul. So these are things that I have collected all through June and July. I am a teacher, so I have been off for summer. However, I have been working with my mom in her dental office doing some marketing. So I have been able to make a little bit of money to cushion my summer. And of course, a little bit of money to spend on stuff I didn't need. So I wanted to show you what I got. As I said, this is cumulative. So if anything is still available, I will try to link it down below. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So starting with the Florida Mall, my husband and I went several weeks ago now and I went to Hot Topic. We usually do a specific mall crawl. We hit Box Lunch, Hot Topic, um, we used to hit Think Geek, but that store has since closed in the Florida Mall, which is a bummer. Uh, Disney Store, of course. So there's definitely certain stores that we hit. And we went into Hot Topic, and I purchased my first bucket hat. Now, I know these are super trendy right now, and I have normally seen bucket hats as a, or in a cloth material or a cotton material. This is definitely a structured mesh. But I really loved the baby pink and the strawberry print over the entirety of the hat. And I did take this to Vero Beach Resort with me and wore it at the beach with my red bathing suit and absolutely loved it. What I did not realize until later is that even though it is a stiffer material, you can still kind of manipulate it. So if you're wanting to tuck up or down certain sides, it definitely is malleable. So this was really cute and probably like 15 bucks or something. I am definitely interested in checking out more bucket hats. That is the first thing. And then the second and last thing that I got at the Florida Mall and at Hot Topic were these sweet Mickey Gingham socks. Now the dress shop at Walt Disney World has released a Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway dapper dress that I have my eyes on and there is red and white gingham accents on the straps as well as the belt itself so I just thought that these would be really sweet with that dress if and when I do pick it up. These were $6.90 and I just thought they were too cute to pass. That is all from Florida Mall. That is not all from Florida Mall. I actually did couple, get a couple of bath... oh my gosh. <laughs> I also did get a couple of Bath & Body Works candles, but I've completely burned through one of them already, so I just didn't bother bringing those out to you. Next store we're going to hit is Marshalls, and these are over several different trips to Marshalls. First trip, I wanted to get some summer tank tops. Now that I am not in school, I can wear these types of tank tops. I absolutely can wear these to school if I wear a t-shirt underneath or a jacket or cardigan on top, but I just wanted something obviously I could wear on its own for the summer. And I picked up this one. This I have not had the chance to wear yet and is was $12.99, but I really liked the kind of taupe beige and white gingham with the really pretty natural buttons that go all the way down the bodice. You'll notice with the things that I did pick up, it's definitely very neutral, which is pretty surprising for me because I really like color in my wardrobe. I like to be very colorful with my style. So the summer was definitely the summer of like neutrals and surprisingly kind of desert vibes as well. I actually moved to Florida from Arizona in the summer of 2014 when I graduated college. So I guess because I've been out here for seven years now, um, I'm kind of feeling the desert vibe a little bit. I'm not sure, but <laughs> this is the next tank top. This one is from Rachel Roy and is 100% linen. So as you can see, kind of as I was describing, it's very neutral khaki base with these pink, yellow, and green flowers over the entirety of the tank top. And I also really like the peplum style, as you saw in the previous and this tank top. And it almost looks like it has faux, or maybe they are real, but I wouldn't imagine that they are faux. Um, mother of Pearl, or some kind of shell buttons. And that one, I do not have the price on, because I have worn it. Probably around the $15 mark. Next 
t-shirt I got was this one, excuse the dog hair. <laughs> I had it resting here on the ground waiting to be filmed. This says Mexico, and if you guys have followed me for some time, you probably know that my husband was born and raised in Mexico and came to Arizona where we met when he was 13. So anything to speak of Mexico or Mexican culture, I'm very drawn to because it reminds me of my husband. So I really liked that. I love the colors of that as well. And again, I've worn that already, so I think that that was probably in the $15 range as well. Marshalls has really good uh, graphic tees and tank tops for summer for fairly cheap. And then this is the last t-shirt tank top that I got from Marshalls. This is Saguaro National Park in Pima County, Arizona. So again, the very desert, very neutral color palette. This one I have not worn yet, and it was $9.99, so so, so affordable. And I have a pair of this kind of peachy color soft shorts from Target that I was wanting to pair with this, or just some lighter denim that I thought would look really nice. Pivoting to some color, though, the only bathing suit that I picked up from Marshalls this year, and I actually intended to take to Vero Beach with me, but I ended up taking my Old Navy and um, a Target bathing suit from a couple years ago. Anyway, <laughs> I got this one. I tried this on and it absolutely made me feel like Rapunzel with the way the cap sleeves are and the, kind of the bodice is shaped. This was $19.99 for the set and is by the brand Cabana Del Sol. So here is the top and then the bottoms. Um, I definitely have come to establish that with my um, just preference and my body type, I really like the higher waisted bottoms because I definitely do carry my weight and my hips and my butt. And I noticed for the past several years now that very cheeky bottoms are very popular. So it can be difficult for me to find a bathing suit set that I like that is not incredibly cheeky. Those bottoms are nice, more of a brief style. So I really like that. Moving into Target, I do have two things to show you, one of which is in the wash. <laughs> um, so I picked up these soft shorts to go with that Mexican shirt specifically. I was trying to look, or sorry, not the Mexico t-shirt, the, um, this one here. Ooh, this one here. This floral Rachel Roy shirt because I was wanting something that would match with the greens in the floral design but then I noticed that it also matched really well with my Mexico shirt and some of the other things that I have purchased because I've kind of stayed in that desert neutral color palette these have really turned out to be a staple in my summer wardrobe and I definitely appreciate the soft sort soft shorts <laughs> it's such a hard time talking in this video um soft shorts in summertime because one in Florida, it is incredibly hot and humid, and I really don't want tight denim on me. I just want something nice and flowy. And two, who has not gained any kind of COVID weight? Good for you. I'm very proud of you, um, but I definitely have. So nice to have a little bit of flexibility. <laughs> um, here is a graphic tee that I got from Target as well. It is Yosemite in California. I also picked up a Saguaro National Park t-shirt that I actually picked up first before picking up that one from Marshalls. So I guess I really wanna to go to Saguaro National Park in Arizona sometime in the future, but that one I have worn and is in the wash. So if those are both available, I will link them in the description as I said, but these are just perfect for tying up. If you are crafty enough and you would like to, you can crop it. I just really like the simplicity of these for these hot summer months and I it seems to be very trendy right now to be having the graphic tees and bike shorts or graphic tee and some fun denim. Two more bathing suits I picked up. Again, I picked these up with the intention of bringing them to Vero and I did not end up doing so. However, I live in Florida, so I will be going back to the beach or to the pool some point in the future. These are both from the brand Carousel. So here is the top to the first one. And these are separate, so this was $19.99. And then the bottoms separately were $17.99, but as you can see, definitely the high-waisted style as I was talking about. Just something that I have found I prefer in a bathing suit. And here is the second one. Oh my gosh. 
the tag got tangled. There we go. Again, carousel. This one was $19.99. I loved the blue purple. I loved the purple and almost, it kind of reminds me of a tile, like a Mexican tile or some kind of ceramic design. It's really pretty. And then these are, these are the high-waisted bottoms. So cute. I love that they have the matching ruffle across the waist to match the ruffle across your chest. Okay, so the last but not least, I have the things that I and my mom picked up for me from Vero Beach Resort. We just got back today from our two night stay. We stayed Thursday and Friday night. So we were there Thursday, Friday, and a little bit of Saturday. Three day, two night. And they have Olu. So if you are familiar with Duffy. He is a teddy bear that was given to Minnie Mouse from Mickey Mouse as a gift. And each park, I would say, has its own friend that is associated with Duffy. So Olu is Duffy's friend from Olani, the resort in Hawaii. And then there's Cookie. She is a dog that I believe is to Tokyo Disney, if I'm I'm correct. Gelatoni is a cat in Disneyland Paris. So there's definitely a range of Duffy and his friends um, at all of the international parks. So as I said, this is the kind of the mascot or the friend for Alani. And I'm sure that they had him at Vero Beach Resort because it is a beach resort, just as Alani is a beach resort. And they maybe just had extra stock. But I was so, so happy that they were able to have some things there. Take a look at his shell. On the back he's got a little mickey head and he's wearing a disney alani little um hawaiian shirt some alani little denim and then of course his little fedora he was 35 dollars and does come with his story so the story is that mickey and duffy were on the lookout for a present for i believe it is shelly may and they heard olu singing Yes, find Shelly May a present. And then they heard Olu singing and they brought him back to the birthday party to sing a special song to Shelly May, and that was her gift. So I thought that that was just so sweet, especially since I have a Shelly May and I also have a cookie. Um, so now I have Olu, and I feel like I'm gonna have to eventually make sure I get all of Duffy and Friends. I was super happy with that. I got him first, and then I went back and I really wanted the pass holder as well because I know, especially in the international parks, they still do the paper passes. Plus it's nice if you have um, your key to the world card, if you're on the cruise, or if you just have any kind of ID, you could even put your driver's license or debit or credit cards in here. It's just nice to have a little something to carry whatever you want. Chargers, um, if you wanna put some hygiene products in there, if you are a lady, if you want to put um, pins if you do pin trading. I mean you can just use this for so many different things and look at his face I'm so excited by this and it was $22. Oh my gosh And then my mom surprised me with this. She said it was a bonus gift for me helping her over the summer this year It is an Olu lounge fly So you can see his little ukulele as the zipper pull on the front pocket of course you have Olu in his little fedora and then this is the shirt that he's wearing. And then the back, just like on the back on the plushie, has his shell. So this is $80, but, oh my gosh, she's so sweet. Um, the interior is a really sweet pattern. It's Olu blowing a conch shell, it looks like. Some kind of shell. Oh my goodness, I love him. Um, and then the very last thing that I got from Vero is something that I also picked out in the gift shop was just this crop Really pretty pink Disney's Vero Beach established 1995 Disney Vacation Club member, which I am Sweet little crop top. I thought would be cute with some denim some soft shorts as I said just for weekend wear my weekends before school are Quickly coming to a close. I do go back on Monday um 
This was $44.99, by the way. But I'm going to have weekends, obviously, during the school year. But that was everything for my summer collective haul. I did also actually purchase the Trixie summer launch. So she released a bathing suit, a beach bag, and a hat. But all of that is downstairs because I did bring the beach bag and the hat with me to Vero. So it's just filled with beach towels and stuff like that. So I did not feel like toting it up here. But I will link her website down below. If you're interested in checking that out, you guys have seen me do Trixie Cosmetics unboxings on here before. So I'm sure you're familiar with the brand, at least if you've watched any of my previous videos. Um, but that is it. If you enjoyed, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I am trying to maintain at least one video a week, especially as I go back to school now and things get busy again. But I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye.